guys, so this video is to show you how to set up a new Google Classroom. To get here, you're going to go to classroom.google.com, or if you just Google the word classroom, you're going to get here too. Um, it'll pop up as like one of the first results. So once you're in classroom, if you've never been in here before, you need to make sure that you choose teacher and not student when you first go in, even if you're going in the first time to participate in a class. Okay. Once you're in, uh, you're going to have blank space here probably, but um, you're going to want to start creating some classes to use. Now I want you to notice that I have here a mixture of classes that I'm teaching and classes that I'm participating in. And you can tell the difference because when I'm teaching it, my picture is not here, but classes I'm participating in do have the instructor's picture on them. Okay. The picture that's going to show up for your students is whatever is up here in the top corner. And if you want to change that, just click on that little circle and there's a little button that says change and you can set your picture to whatever you want. Okay. So to create a new class, you're going to come up here to this plus and you're going to click that and you're going to say create class. You're going to name your class. You do not have to choose a section or a subject. You may if you wish, it doesn't matter and hit create. And it's going to create your class for you and it's going to send you right inside it. Now, if you don't like this blue, that's the first thing you see, you can change your theme. Okay. They have all sorts of interesting things here for us to look at. Um, all right. And you can change, um, you can put your own photo in there, whatever. But that's how you kind of personalize it. And I do suggest you personalize this a little bit because when your students are looking at this, um, it's nice for them to have different colors and different looking things um, in their in their little class view. Okay, so in this class, let me orient you a little bit. Um, over here in the top left is your menu. You can jump right to other classes, um, things that you're enrolled in. Um, in the center here, you've got three tabs. You've got your stream. This is where most of the action happens in your class. This is where um, your assignments are, where students turn in work and so forth. You've got your student tab and the about tab. We're going to look at each of those in just a second. And then up here, this is your um, Google Apps. You've seen that before. Um, this is your notifications. And then, of course, your uh, login showing you who is logged in. Okay. Now <clears throat> in the student stream, they're going to see what work is due soon. It's going to show you yours too. Whatever due dates you have coming up um, are going to show right here. Um, you're going to see some topics. Um, this is kind of a way to tag your posts or your assignments just so you can find them more easily. Some people like to use that. Some people don't. So personal preference. Um, if you want to add an assignment for the students, you click on the plus button down here. Now notice when I hover over this with my mouse, all sorts of stuff pops up. I can create an announcement, an assignment, a question, or I can reuse a post. So if I create an assignment, um, let me just title this delete me also. Okay. Um, you can put some instructions. You can type instructions here. You can choose who this assignment is going to. So right now it's only for this class, but if I click on this, all the classes that I teach pop up. I can assign this to every class that I teach at one time. So I don't have to go into each class individually and recreate this assignment. That's kind of cool. If you have only one class selected, then you will get this option which lets you pick all students or specific ones. Now I don't have anybody enrolled right now, but if I did, they would all pop up here and I could select individual kids. And that's a really good way to differentiate because you can assign, um, <clears throat> or you can create an assignment that's just for maybe one student in your class. If they have a little bit different assignment than everybody else and nobody will ever know. That's pretty cool. Um, you put your due date right here. And, um, if you just click on that, calendar pops up. So it's real easy to put a due date in. And if you have some topics, um, you can choose from your list of topics here, or you can create a new one. Um, and 
like I said, that kind of works like a tagging system, just so you can find things easily. Um, you might want to tag it by unit, for example. And then you can attach things to your post. So you can, uh, the paper clip allows you to attach any kind of file at all, anything. Um, but keep in mind, if you use this, that the students need to be able to open it from home. So if you put in something like a PowerPoint, um, a lot of students don't have PowerPoint at home and they might not be able to open your file. Okay, so be careful about that, but it will let you attach anything. Um, this little guy will allow you to attach anything that's living in your Google Drive, anything at all. And again, if it's a PowerPoint, remember, they can't open it, so be careful. Um, Google formatted things work really, really good here. I recommend that. This allows you to put a YouTube video in and it'll let you even search for a YouTube video. Um, and check it out. You can preview it and play it right here. Um, I'm just gonna add that. And you can also put in a link to something. Okay, so you have lots of options to put in for your assignment. And then if you're ready to assign it, you can go ahead and hit assign, or you can go ahead and schedule that to appear at a certain date and time. Or you can just save it for later if you prefer, okay? So I'm just gonna go ahead and assign that. Okay, and it pops up right here. And it will tell you how many students have finished it, how many have not finished it. I have zero kids enrolled right now, so nobody is, um, nobody's late, <laughs> I guess, okay? Now, as soon as you create a post, you're gonna get three dots up here, and that will allow you to edit your post or delete your post, okay? That's important. And um, I guess the next thing that you need to know is how to get students into your class. So if you click on your student tab up here, it will give you a list of all the students who are in here and it will give you a class code. This class code will not change until you reset it. So basically you could make a really nice thing and put it on your wall and say, hey, here's your class code. Just so everybody knows, you can reset it if you feel the need, disable it if you feel the need, um, display it if you're showing this to your students uh, in front of the classroom on a projector, you can hit display and it'll just make it big, okay, or even bigger. Um, that's kind of nice. And um, I would suggest using the code and not using the invite, invite students because you have to type in their email addresses. So I wouldn't worry about that. And don't worry about guardians. Uh, we don't really do that here in our district. Um, we tell the parents that if they would like to see what the student is doing to have the student log into their uh, Google account. And another option, if your parents are really interested, is have them just forward their child's um, their school Gmail account to their email address um, and that way they'll see all the, the notifications coming in from uh, Google Classroom, okay? Because every time, incidentally, every time you create an assignment, an email is automatically sent to the students, okay, when this is posted to tell them that they have an assignment due. And so that's what's nice about scheduling it also. So I could say, I could go ahead and create an assignment that I want to assign them on Friday and when that assignment actually posts on Friday, it will send them an email and say, hey, you have an assignment due. Okay. Now the about page is pretty great too. Um, it allows you to add class materials and um, you get your same options here. My suggestion would be to add things here that you need available all year, like your syllabus, um, lab safety rules, um, tutorial schedule, those kind of things. You can put more resources for the kids, but there's no way to categorize this or organize it in any way. And so when you add too much stuff to this page, it's gonna scroll forever. So just be really um, aware of how much stuff you're putting on this page, okay? You can also invite other teachers to collaborate on the same class if you're interested. <clears throat> you do have to have them in your contacts to be able to invite them. Um, this points directly to the class drive folder, which is um, a folder that is automatically created as soon as you made the class. Boom, this is on your drive, and this will take you straight there and to the student's work. 
Um, it'll also take you to your classroom calendar because it automatically created a calendar specifically for this class um, when you set it up. So it did a lot of things kind of automatically just by you creating this class. So that's the basic idea. Um, students are going to see something very similar. They're going to click on the assignment. Um, and our students have used this a lot, so they're probably not going to have much trouble submitting work. Um, but if you do, I'll make another video for them showing what it looks like on their side. All right, I hope that helps. Have a great day.